Alright. Finally get this done. Finally say it. What's going on guys? Big to be back with another Game Case Arcades video. I am so excited. You guys have been seeing all my videos. I keep mentioning it. I have a huge announcement for you guys and here it is. I am. I'm not gonna lie, I've been holding in that cliffhanger. I've always been picturing how I'm gonna do that to you guys. So I just hope you got a kick out of that joke. But again, be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. I am finally able to announce the biggest announcement I've been holding for a while, for quite a few months, because it is finally time to let you guys know and everybody know that I, Vic VP, I am officially doing arcade builds and VPIN builds as a full-time job. Yes, this is now officially my full-time job. Game Case Arcades, Vic VP. I'm super excited to finally tell you guys. I've been holding it back, I've been doing a couple of things, but I could proudly, officially tell you guys that I am doing this full-time. You guys might be seeing me on Facebook groups and all that, like the Arcade 1UP mods and the Arcade groups. You'll definitely see a lot more of me. You've probably already seen it within the past two or three weeks, because now I'm helping out people on the forums and on the groups and all that. So, You'll definitely see me more active, so don't be shy to always message me or ask any questions, especially in the comment section. I'll be making a lot of videos and honestly, a lot more different type of builds. Definitely, V-Pins is gonna be the biggest thing that everybody's gonna be going crazy for, but I do have a very certain specific way I'm gonna be doing V-Pins, so I do not kind of piss off the V-Pin community. I'll be explaining this one in the next couple of videos as far as my V-Pin options, but what you see right here is not gonna be available for sale. What I'm talking about is pinup popper and honestly, the multi games as far as pinball. I'm gonna be going into a very intense detail as far as VPIN. If you think about VPIN, basically me, I'm gonna be supplying customers fully built pinball cabinets. DOF mostly I'm aiming for, meaning I'm gonna send you a completely built DOF out cabinet or whatever DOF you want, for example, Flashers, strobes, beacons, LEDs. This one has a shaker motor in it. There's a lot to it when it comes to VPIN. As far as the arcade side, you've always seen my videos, arcade stuff, using game room solutions, but I am working, I'm not really gonna say working and collaborating. I did my research with a couple of people that messaged me, and basically I'm getting a hobby style CNC machine in my garage. It's not gonna be huge, it's not gonna be like JC's, um, Tulsa Arcades, you know, the one I really wanted, which was like 25 grand. I unfortunately have no room for that, nor do I want to spend that because I'm not really going to be commercial wise like that. I found a hobby grade CNC machine, which I am willing to give it a try. You're probably going to see a couple more videos of that later on. Um, for example, you do see one of these four player uprights. This isn't my personal build, but I am aiming to duplicate this. A lot more videos as far as this specific build going on. Alive. But again, I just want to let you guys know, the viewers, I think also, I mean, right now it's September 9th. I don't know when this video is going to go out because I did make a lot of videos, especially with VPIN and all that. But by the time you get this, I do believe I hit 3,000 subscribers. So again, shout out to you guys, the viewers, everybody that's following me on Instagram and the YouTube subscribers. Big shout out to you guys. Again, I always answer all the comments and all the suggestions and I take criticism, so that's A-OK. -okay. So again, big shout out to you guys for watching the videos and subscribing. So that's a pretty big milestone in my book for 3,000 subscribers. Yes, I'll be always wanting more and more, and you will be seeing more of me, so get used to it. Other big thing is I'm gonna be kind of cleaning up my video work, also gonna be making kind of like, not a script, but I'm gonna be making bullet points to make sure I go through everything I want and not sound too jumbled, so now that I am doing this full time, I could definitely clean it up and all that. A big thing to keep in mind, like I've always said in my videos, but I did confuse people way back a couple of years. It's always great to see people commenting and liking like, videos from like two years ago somebody commented on like an old school pandora box 4s and saying like my pandora box plays systems like nes and i'm like dude look at how old the video is so it's pretty cool to see that but the biggest thing is remember even though i'm doing this full time i am still a one man team a one man army um i just like to make sure that i personally work on everybody's build i like to make sure that it's i i know how wiring is i really can't teach anybody else. I can make a couple tutorials, but as far as relying on somebody else to make sure that the pin or any arcade build came out the way I wanted, I have to personally do it. So keep that in mind, even though it is full time, I will still be a one man army. That's just how I want to work it. So again, pretty excited. You're going to see a lot of different arcade builds, different um, variations. 
Again, I will still be using Game Room Solutions for quick builds if somebody's looking for something within two weeks. Again, when I do get my CNC machine, I do plan to make a brand new style four player cabinet. This one is not my personally. I still have to make a video on it. I personally bought this one because I do plan to duplicate this. This is a 43 inch screen. I'm even looking to go maybe even a little bit bigger up to a 49 inch or 50 inch screen like my V-pins, but taking it slow. I do have a whole different variation. The big thing basically I do see again out in New York, I am planning to go globally. You know, people do fill out the request forms on my website. So I do get people from Florida and Kansas and California and Washington. I got somebody in Texas coming up. So there are a lot of people out of state and I do want to give a lot of options as far as, far as you know, sizes, for example, this right here, I'm in New York. A lot of my clients, they're in like Manhattan, some in Staten Island, a lot in Long Island. This could probably fit in a Long Island household, but as far as like a Manhattan apartment, this is too big. So I do want to give a lot of options. I'll be basically working a lot on my CNC machine when I do get it, which is in the next couple of weeks. But again, you're going to see a lot of videos as far as right now I'm talking about VPN because I could officially give a lot of options and all that. Again, just want to let you guys know the huge announcement I've been holding on for a while. There are a lot of builds that I do have wait listed for. Big thing that many people aren't really understanding when it comes to hyperspin builds is that, and even VPN builds, currently right now with the GPU market and graphics cards, it is getting difficult to get affordable parts and hardware to build arcade and virtual pinball cabinets. So big thing that somebody that messaged me is like, hey Vic, are your prices gonna change? I'm gonna probably stay at the same price point. If you don't know my prices, you can always message me. You can always ask me what you're looking for. Keep in mind also, now I'm gonna be looking into getting a shipping company, which I already know is already kind of a hassle to deal with, but I just wanna let you guys know I am taking that next step. Again, VicVP Game Case Arcades, this is full time.